All right, we're going to work on 15-4, work together, which is on page 462. The first thing it would like us to do is post the adjusting entries. I've already hit show answer, so I can just put it up there. I'm not going to show you all of this. This is posting just like we always do, putting the post reference up here and calculating new balances down here when we post. So I'm going to move on beyond that step. Then I am going to go to step number two, and it says to prepare the heading and record all the account balance except for federal income tax expense on their adjusted trial balance. So our heading is again who, what, when. So Southside Electric adjusted trial balance December 31st. And I'm, I've gone up here, and for every single one, the balance I have brought down onto here. So, like supply store is the one I had just shown you. So go ahead and complete that if you need to pause again so that you can get them all. That would be fine. That gets you through store equipment. Then leave the federal income tax payable blank because that's what we're about to figure out. There's income summary all of our depreciations, insurance, supplies, expense. And when you total all of that, you should get 639.062.79. So that is step number two. So then step number three, it says using the tax table shown in your text, calculate the federal income tax owed for the fiscal year in the tables below. So we're going to use this, this adjusted trial balance, and we're going to go down to where it starts at income summary. And all of the credits, so 1625, 532, 371, 922, 1495, and 533. We're going to add all those together, and if we add all those five numbers, I think it was, together, we would get 536.948.17. And then we're going to do the same with the debits, so starting with income summary on down, all the debits, so all of our expenses or contra revenue accounts, all the way down to but excluding excluding federal income tax so do not add in this thirty two thousand dollars and if I did that I would get three ninety five three sixty point four eight and then it says to take credits minus debit so revenue minus expense and that's our net income and we would get one forty one five eighty seven point Six nine. So then I'm going to take that number of 141, 587.69, and I'm going to go to that tax table. And again, this tax table is in your book, but here it is on the screen for you. So we have 141,587. So we're in this same line again. We're between 100 and 335,000. So we're going to take 141,587 minus 100 grand and multiply that times our 39%. So let me go back to mind tap. So minus 100,000. Is the net income that is subject, so 41,587.69. And that marginal tax rate from that tax table was 39%. And if I take 41,587.69 times 39%, I'll get 16,219.20. The bracket minimum from that table, again, if you look at it, is the 22,250. So I take 22,250 
and I add what I just computed, that marginal tax I just computed of 16 to 1920, and I get that my expense for the entire year should be 38,469,20. Then I'm going to go to the next step, and that shows you all what we just did again. It says to journalize the adjusting and entry for federal income tax. So, in order to do that, I need to go down to the federal income tax account expense and I see that I already have $32,000 recorded because I had made estimated payments all year long at each quarter of 8,000 bucks it looks like so four times I made quarterly payments of eight grand I have a total of 32,000 that I debited expense and I credited cash so I already have 32,000 and I know that I need it to be 38,469 so I need another 6,000 469 dollars Six thousand four sixty nine point twenty is what I need to add to the expense. So I know that the debit is always to federal income tax expense. And the credit is to federal income tax payable. Because I still owe that much more. I had already paid 32 grand. I owe another 64.69.20. Then I need to post the federal income tax expense. So these last two, I need to post those two accounts. So I've already gone ahead and done that but I wanted to show you it so that you see. Um, there's tax and all the income tax. So here's the federal income tax payable, and that is where I posted it, and that is my ending balance because that's what I still owe related to taxes. And then if you go all the way to the bottom for federal income tax expense, once I posted that, you see I get the 38,469.20 as my ending balance because that's how much I computed I owed on my net income before tax. So I've done that step, and then I'm going to go to the adjusted trial balance. And again, you've already done everything except for adding the federal income tax payable balance and the federal income tax expense balance. Re-add these things together. You should get debits equal to credits. Once you've done that, you know that you're fine. So again, the, the trickiest part here is computing this correctly so add all of my credits all of my debits except for federal income tax to come up with net income use the tax table to come up with how much i owe and once i know how much i owe how much my expense for the entire year should have been i want to make sure and go to the federal income tax expense and I see what balance I already have in there compared to what I think it should be and adjust to get it to where it belongs. So that is the end of the work together.